Uh, so now we're finding the roots of a quadratic equation with leading coefficient greater than 1. And what we're going to do is use the ACB method again. So we know our A term is in front of the X squared, our B term is in front of the X, and our C term doesn't have a variable. So we have A, C, and B. So A times C is 6 times 8, which is 48. And then our B term is 19. All right, so what we want to do is find two numbers that multiply to give us 48, but add up to give us 19. So if we just go down the factors of 48, 48 and 1, that one doesn't work. 24 and 2, that one doesn't work. We have 16 and 3, and that one does work. So now we can break up this middle term. So we have 6x squared plus 16x plus 3x plus 8. Yeah. All right, and now we'll just break it up into groups. So the like term we can pull out of this one is 2x. We get left over with 3x plus 8. And the greatest common factor we can bring out of this one is just 1. We have 3x plus 8 left over. Since these two are the same binomials, we can put their coefficients together. So we have 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 8. Now that's pretty similar to just factoring. And to find the roots, all we have to do is set each one of these equal to 0. So if we move over the 1, we get minus 1. So 2x equals negative 1. Divide by 2, x equals negative 1 half. That's our first root. If we do the same with this one, we get 3x plus 8 equals 0. 3x equals negative 8. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. We get x equals negative 8 over 3. So those are our two roots for this problem. All right. For our second problem, I'm going to go a little bit faster. So we have a, c, b again. And then our A times C is 150, our B is 31. All right, if we go down the factors, 151 doesn't work, 75 and 2 doesn't work, um, 50 and 3 doesn't work, uh, 25 and 6 does work. All right, so we have 10x squared plus 25x plus 6x plus 15. We're going to break it up into groups. So we can roll out a 5x. We get left over with a 2x plus 5. We can pull out a 3. We get left over with 2x plus 5. Um, just a note, you should always get two binomials that are the same. If you don't, you did it wrong, or you didn't pull out the greatest common factor. All right, and now we've just combined the coefficients. So we get 5x plus 3, 2x plus 5, and for this one, the root is negative 3 fifths. For this one, the root is negative 5 over 2. You can go through the um, math 